It's a better day. Welcome to Joel's Place, the spiritual language. Do you live your values, beliefs and faith? In our video, so what is the next big thing? Viewers learned how Justin Bieber and his wife published viral pics of their Christian baptism on Instagram. Clearly, they did not feel embarrassed or ashamed to confess and identify with Christ or their Christian faith. They allowed no one or anything to restrict, infringe on, or end their rights to follow their Christian religious conviction. Clearly, their values, beliefs, and commitment to Christ are real. The enemies of our Christian faith want to make us feel like victims and casualties of our Christian heritage, culture, and beliefs. Do not fall for that tactic. The idea of our foe is subtle and serious. Their war slogan is, Give these followers of Christianity a continuous hard time. Sooner or later, they will walk away from their faith values and beliefs and from their God. Their Christian community will disappear. Behind this crafty strategy, the aim to replace the values, beliefs and truths the Holy Bible teaches us. The opening game is to entice Christians with alternatives to what God says or thinks about good and evil, self-will and sin. Whether through dire and trying times, unusual disruptive circumstances or any other means available, the line of attack is to slowly erode Christian values, beliefs, faith and allegiance to God. The end game is to relegate God, to make him irrelevant and oust God from the affairs of the very human beings he created and loves. The world of people that God sent Christ Jesus to save. So believer, treasure in your heart and mind the idea and privilege of religious freedom. Do not hide your spiritual beliefs or your devotion to your Christian faith. Cherish the values that Christ taught. Remember the Joel's Play saying from the Spiritual Lounge, God's truths are our truths and our reality. We are and remain committed champions for Christ. You know better than to listen to the criticism that you are a prisoner and victim of your faith. We know that we are free in Christ. God is our great defense. Under the loving guidance of our all-knowing God through the Holy Spirit, like those mentioned in the Bible, book of Hebrews 11, you are the humble hero of the developing story of your life. You are part of His holy nation, living in this unpredictable world and choosing to make a difference by your values, your faith, your beliefs, and your godly wisdom. You are His light that makes a difference that pushes back the darkness. At Joel's Place, we provide quick wisdom that informs and educates and helps you understand how the crazy events and happenings in the world right now impact you and your family. Then we teach you how to pray and gain spiritual breakthrough and victory in your life. As usual in this new series, Breakthrough with Prayer, we follow that quick wisdom from Joel's Place, the Spiritual Lounge with the Prayer. Be blessed by the prayer call. Do you live your values, beliefs, and faith? Help me, mighty Heavenly Father, to change the inner world within me, that my values, beliefs, faith, and nature might match the conduct and behavior you require in your children. Let it be that the outer world around me might see and acknowledge you through me. Grant me your blessings, kind God, that I might both boldly and graciously 
make the difference in the world around me that the difference I make might point to the God of heaven. You alone are the source of all happiness, of peace and hope. You are our God. We are your people. I pray for those who persecute, harass, discriminate against the church, against your kingdom and against your people. Grant me the grace to do as our Lord commanded, to love our enemies and bless the ones who curse us and to do what is beautiful to those who hate us. Give me the patience and wisdom to testify and witness where and when your still small voice leads me. Keep me alert to the wiles of our great enemy, the devil. He who seeks to devour, rob, kill, destroy. You are our great defense. In these dire, disruptive and difficult times, keep me faithful to you and to your word of truth. You are God forever. Your kingdom shall know no end. You have not put a full stop to the story of my life. So my hope is in you, and I live day by day, changing daily into who you formed me to be and to become. Humbly, yet proud to call you my Lord and my God, I shall look to you for strength, to live by the values and beliefs and faith that I profess and confess. This I ask and pray believing that you might hear and answer my prayer in the name of Christ Jesus. I say Amen. Please like and share this video with your contacts and with people on the various platforms that you use and please subscribe to our channel. Until the next time, this is Joel's Place in the Spiritual Lounge. God bless you and have a better day.